AUS Silver Jubilee Podcast, presented by the MCM Department and the College of Arts and Sciences. Silver Jubilee Podcast. Dr. Osama Al Khazali, who is Professor and current Head of Department of Finance, joins me today to chat about his journey at the American University of Sharjah. For the last 25 years, he has also been active in research and is now the coordinator of the SMF program. Thank you for joining me today, Professor. You joined AUS in 1997, and you are now the longest serving professor here. Why did you decide to join a university that was in its infancy? Well, first, thank you for the interview. Uh, this is a very interesting question. Many people have asked me this question. Why? Well, in 1997, I have completed my PhD in finance from the U.S. And I decided to look for um, an opportunity somewhere in the Middle East and a new academic institution that followed the American model. And I ended up receiving a good opportunity from the American University of Sharjah, which is a new school. And I want to take the new challenge. That's one of the main reasons that I, I love to be part of a team that will put the cornerstone of a new academic programs. Uh, another reason why I joined AUS in 1997, I want to be part of a team that will build a sound institution that follows the American model. Looking back 25 years ago, I believe joining the AUS was a good decision. I want to be part of the history of AUS. Seeing that it was 25 years ago, I'm sure AUS has changed a lot during that time. Can you describe what AUS was like in 1997? In 1997, I remember my journey driving on airport road, and I saw this amazing infrastructure in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the desert. I felt like I see an, an oasis. Nothing around that area and the surrounding area except great infrastructure, brand new buildings, and that's for the American University of Sharjah. At that time, as any new college or a new university, it was very small in terms of number of students, faculty, and staff. In 1997, we used to call it AUS family because faculty, staff, students, they used to know each other like a family. This is how it was AUS in 1997. And the way you describe it, it seems like you have a lot of love and a lot of passion for this place. But what is the reason that what made you stay at AUS? When I joined AUS, I thought I will stay for five years and then I can move somewhere else. Over the 25 years, I have received so many job opportunities from other institutions and from the industry, but I decided to stay at AUS. My family and I love the place, love living in the Emirates, love living in Sharjah, and I love to work at AUS. Great culture, great workplace. Working at AUS with high ranking, working at AUS that follows the American model, and this is exactly my dream, that I want to be part of an institution that follow the North American model of higher education. I cannot find a better place. I cannot ask for more. How has the university evolved over the years? Seeing as it's been 25 years, there should be a lot of changes that happened. How has it evolved? The most important changes over the years, which is considered as a short period for an academic institution, but the achievement is amazing to become one of the top universities in the region an amazing achievement for AUS and for all of us as a faculty and staff. How has the students evolved? Oh boy, <laughs> the students are students. But right now we are in the technology time. Students rely heavily on technology. They are more creative, more innovative because of technology. Uh, the current students are more challenging than the previous one because of the technology. The current students uh, they have more access to knowledge, uh, they have more access to research. So you see a big difference between students in 1997 and right now? A big difference. And the reason behind that is the advanced technology, mainly in, in higher education. It's been 25 years, and I believe you started teaching on October 4th of 1997, which was a Saturday. What was your first day like? Describe it to me. Wow, this is a special day for me. It was an amazing day. This is the best day in my career life at AUS, which is the first day of classes and being the first faculty in the school of business 
to go to a class. And at that time, I had two sections, two introduction to business for total of number of students, about 40 students in each section. Uh, at that time, maybe the number of students all over campus, 287. Uh, we used to know each other as a faculty and students. It, to me, is very special there. It was a tight-knit community back then. Very close community, as I mentioned before, we used to be like a family. Students, faculty, staff, we used to be like a family. Do you still feel this way? Yes, I do. Even I'm still in touch with, with many of my students who joined AUS in 1997. You did mention to me that you have a notebook, I believe, that has the students from 1997. Tell our <sighs> listeners about that blue notebook that you cherish. I still have this notebook. I use this notebook to record the students and their achievements, and I still have it. And this is going to be kept with me for the rest of my life. At that time, we did not use Excel or technology to record the name of the students or uh, the grades. We used to have a notebook, and I still have it with the names of the students who joined in 1997. And you still talk to them? You're still in contact with them? I'm still in touch with my students who joined in 1997, yes. And I assume they've done big things. A lot. A um, number of them completed their PhDs. A number of them became CEOs, CFOs. A number of them became ministries. This has been a very lively talk about the history of AUS. I want to finally ask you, what is your favorite memory of AUS? I had so many memories. But there's two memories I cannot forget. The first day of classes, October 4th, in 1997, on Saturday. And in June 2001, which is the graduation of the first batch, who joined AUS in 1997. These are my greatest memory at AUS. Tell me a little bit about that graduation day. How did you feel? I felt so good because of the achievement. After four years of joining AUS, I was part of a team to help the young students to be to graduate after four years of joining AUS. I felt like I'm a father to all of them and a role model to all my students, and I'm still. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining me today. This has been a great talk. Thanks for joining. Thank you, it's my pleasure. AUS Silver Jubilee Podcast, presented by the MCM Department and the College of Arts and Sciences. Silver Jubilee Podcast, 